What's up guys? Welcome back to Card Spot. We've got a little uh, little different video for you today. As you can see here, I've got a deck in front of me uh, and uh, I've got a wee booster box in my hand and we've got this really nice mat. What does this all mean? Well, um, a couple of weeks ago, there was an Edison tournament on here in Auckland and your boy took it out. So we're going to do a little bit of a deck profile for you as well as a, a bit of a recap on the event. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so this is the deck that I played. It is Diva Hero. If you've seen the previous Edison vlog that I did, it's a very similar list, but we'll quickly run through it. We got three Diva, three Caius, two Infernal Prodigy, two Malicious, one Dark Griffa, one Sangan, one Spine Gilman, one Spirit Reaper, one Dark Armed, one Stratos, one Treeborn, one Blague, and one Gorse. Pretty standard monster lineup. I don't think there's anything too crazy in there. Uh, for spells, we've got three Miracle Fusion, which is the best card in the deck. Two Gold Sarks, which search your future fusion. We've got the Heavy Storm, Allure, Rota, MST, Mind Control, and Brain Control, the really, really good one-offs. Um, I sided the Mind Control out a fair bit uh, against decks that just don't put up a lot of tuners. Uh, and then two Bottomless, a Mirror Force, a Mind Crush, TT, Solemn, Trap Dust Shoot, DDV, and Return from the Different Dimension. Um, so in overall for the deck list, I ended up siding these two out a lot, particularly going second. Um, even though traps are still viable as going second cards in this format, these ones, they ain't it. Simply because you're probably going to take a couple of hits before you get this off, and also trying to put a Caius on the board is a fair bit harder. Um, there was one time when I trap dust shooted and mine crushed someone in the same turn. I think that was actually, I'm pretty sure that was game one of the finals, if I recall correctly. So there was four rounds of Swiss and then cut to top four. Um, so yeah, there is some really interesting plays. I mean, Solemn Judgment realistically won me a match. Um, we were going into game three. Opponent is playing like a psychic kind of zombie turbo deck to spam out synchros. And uh, turn one, I just said a Solemn Judgment, kind of a really going second kind of hand. Uh, and then he normals uh, Dark Graffer. Uh, and I have to Solemn it because if he doesn't, if I don't, he sets up and it's bad news bears for me. Uh, and that actually ended up winning me the game. So some really cool heads up plays. Um, another one actually with MST um, in the finals, I'm sitting on a Stardust Dragon on the field and my opponent tries to brain control it. Uh, so I chain MST targeting his brain control and then chain Stardust Dragon to negate the MST, which gets it off the field so that he can't steal it and attack me with it. So um, yeah, some cool plays there that I think um, is, is good to know about for, for Edison, um, particularly the Stardust MST combo. But overall, I'm really happy with the deck. I think if I was to change anything, I would probably drop the DDV. I only got it off once the entire day and it's just... Not so impactful, particularly with a lot of the decks that were running around. Beat sticks are still a thing, uh, and so this really doesn't do a lot to clear them out. Return from the different dimension as well. It's so good, like game one and maybe game three, game two not so much. Um, but yeah, I think DDV would definitely be the, the card that would get cut. On to the extra deck. Again, fairly standard. We've got a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. We have three absolute zeros, and three does come up a fair bit, so you don't really want to drop that to two. We've got an armory arm, a Catasta, a magical android, a Bryo, a Goyo, a Black Rose, an Iron Man, a Red Dragon Archfiend, a Stardust, a Thought Ruler, and a Misswim. Um, yeah, a fairly standard uh, yeah, extra deck fusion deck again. Um, Mistworm, I guess, is one of the flick spots. You can play like an elemental hero Gaia over this. Uh, but really, I didn't find myself wanting Gaia all that much and having the option to bounce three cards instead with like a, you know, if you have a Stratos and you summon a Diva and bring out a Gilman, that's your Mistworm. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy to make. And then side deck is just a side deck that I stole from a true hero at the Edison WCQ. So it's a Consecrated Light, uh, two Cyber Dragons, one DD Crow, two Fossil Diners, a Snowman Eater, a Vanity's Fiend, a Nobleman, a Smashing, a Soul Release, a Light Imprisoning, a Mask of Restrict, and two Decrees. Um, there's a lot of one-offs in there. 
And actually, uh, I would probably change some of those. So some things like the DD Crow, I'd probably swap out the Soul Release for another DD Crow. Um, and I'd probably swap out the Vanity's Fiend for another Snowman Eater. Um, just because when I did side in the Vanity's Fiend, it actually wasn't really so useful. Um, and the Royal Decrees, oh, so good. These probably won me the finals or did a lot of work in the finals because it was against um, Oppression Wings. And so obviously chaining this to Royal Oppression feels so good. <laughs> um, Mask of Restrict also put in some work uh, against Frog Heroes. Um, so yeah, there's some some really solid impactful cards. No Woman as well against uh, Vayu Turbo. Hitting all the Raikos out of the deck was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, this is there's some good cards in this side deck. I just think I'd change the ratios around for some of them. Okay, so that's the deck, and we've got a box to open up as well. So let's open this up and have a chat about the day. Alright, so we've got a full 24-pack box of Age of Overlord. I'm looking for some of the Diabell Star slash um, Sinful Spoils stuff out of here. We'll put that in the corner there. Alright, so we've got a 24-pack box of Age of Overlord. I'm looking for some of the Diabell Star slash Sinful Spoils cards. So let's see what we can get. Um, and shout out to everyone that I played against on the day for being really cool. Uh, Cezanne, um, Aaron, Wilson, Darian, Darian again <laughs> in top four, and Dallin in the finals. Everyone was super chill, super cool. We had some good laughs, some good games. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I mentioned a couple of the plays that I'm most proud of earlier. Just, yeah, the heads up Soloming, the Dark Griffa, and uh, MST chaining to um, the brain control so that I could get Stardust off the field. I was kind of kind of proud of those um, because I'm not always the most heads up play kind of guy. It's, it's a lot of the time I'll be reflecting afterwards and going, that's what I should have done. It's like when someone insults you and you go, oh, we got the Infernal Flame Banshee there. It's like when someone insults you and you're in the shower like two, two hours later and you're like, that's what I should have said. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was kind of happy that I was making those plays actually in the moment, which was nice. Um, oh, there we go. Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. Ultras back to back. The decks I played were um, Frog Heroes, or Frog Monarch Heroes, I guess, uh, round one. Um, and then I played Vayu Turbo, round two. And then the kind of psychic, zombie psychics, uh, round three, I believe. And then like Earth Heroes, I think it was, uh, round four. And then in the top four, I played Earth Heroes again. Um, and then Oppression Wings in the final. So I went 6-0 undefeated. Um, and it is the first booster box that I have ever won in my life. <laughs> so I was very stoked. Um, and shout out to Card Merchant West City for hosting the event and putting on some good prizes. Everyone in top four got a mat and you can see the really awesome mat that I got here in the background. I'm really stoked with that mat. Um, so everyone in top four got a mat, which was awesome. Kind of, oh, <laughs> here we go. Yo, this be little night out of a box that I won. It doesn't get better than that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so shout out to, to Car Merchant Hamilton. They, uh, no, not Hamilton. Um, West City this time. Uh, for putting on an event with really good prizes. It meant that everyone who got top four went home with something, which was really cool. Um, and then first place got a box as well. Of course, there was like entry packs and things for everyone else. Um, but yeah, I thought that was, uh, it was a really fun tournament and a great way of doing it because... The pressure that you feel in top four, the pressure that you feel in top four, you know, when you're like, oh, I need to actually win this to, to get something. It's just like, oh, at least I have a mat. You know, that's a nice little consolation prize, at least. Um, we got the Horus guy there. I can't believe we got another SP Little Knight. That is awesome. The best secret in the set. Of course, we have opened a case of the set. Um, oh, come on now. What a box. This is insane, and this is a card that I needed. 
I thought, here I am, opening this box to make sure that there weren't cards that I needed in here. And yes, there is Diabell Star the Black Witch. That is a really, two really solid secrets there. Insane. And to think we still have a chance at a quarter century secret rare as well, which is, which is absolutely even more insane. Um, but as I was saying, we have opened a case of this set before. If you want to see our case opening, of which we pulled some insane cards, plenty of SP Little Knights, um, then you can check that out in the annotation up in the eye there. Um, but we will continue along opening this box and chatting about the day. Um, so yeah, everyone was really cool. Um, it was a lot of fun doing, like everyone kind of had Edison trades and things. Uh, so it was cool to pick up cards for different decks. Now that I've won um, an event with Diva Hero, I'm kind of tempted to retire it for a little while and maybe try my hand at something else. Uh, I have most of the things needed for like Black Wings, so I might give that a try. Or even Light Sworn could be kind of fun, just introduce the, the RNG element a little bit into the games. Oh, come on now, this just gets better and better. <laughs> Insane. This, the Typhon as well, we've now got like the best secret, and probably like the third best secret, I think only Wanted is higher than Diabell Star. And then we just got the best Ultra as well. <laughs> this is the best box I, I've opened in a little while. Um, yeah. Okay. Synchro Rumble there. Um, yeah, maybe I should win events more often. It's really, <laughs> it's really paying off. <laughs> uh, okay. What have we got as we wind down into our last couple of packs here? Oh, we got a Vanquish Soul Zhao Long. Not such an amazing card, but you know, we can't, we can't win them all. Like, uh, this box has been beautiful. So we're just going to open up the last couple of packs. Make sure that there's no quarter century secret rare in here, um, which there probably isn't. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I can never remember what it takes the place of. I think in these, it might take the place of an ultra. Um, but yeah, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, what a day. It was a lot of fun. I highly recommend checking out Edison format. If you're interested in, in something perhaps a little slower, or maybe you've been out of the game for a little while and you want to just ease yourself back in Edison format is a really good way of doing that. And special shout out to my brother, uh, because he, he has played the last two Edison formats that I've been to. He's come along and he's made top four in both of them as well. Um, and he hasn't played in 10 years. So <laughs> as I say, it's a really good way of getting, dipping a toe back into the game because you know, he's, he's able to do really well without having to know all of the new cards. So there we are. There's our speed sitting, seed spitting saplings. Sorry. And our pulls, I can't, we got the Zhao Long, Divine Temple, Infernal Flame Banshee, and of course the Typhon, and then the Diabell Star and SP Little Knight on this beautiful uh, Legendary Collection mat. Doesn't get much better than that. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's probably been a bit of a rambling video, but it was just, I wanted to share in the enjoyment of me winning my first ever booster box. I just had to go back to a format from 13 years ago to do it. Um, but you know, it was still a lot of fun and what a box, what a absolute stonker of a prize box. So there we have it guys. Thank you much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, particularly if you're interested in Yugi news, because we do a weekly news video recapping all of the interesting stuff that's happened and I will see you in the next video.